Hi guys, it's Mark from Burton Bibles back with another short vlog style video. I hope you're all well and that uh, you're seeing much of the Lord's blessing in your own uh, personal lives. So I just wanted to first of all uh, say hello to any new subscribers. We have just gone over the 400 subscribers march which is absolutely fantastic and uh, is really encouraging to me. Fantastic to know that I'm connecting with so many Christians and believers around the world and I hope you're enjoying the content and the videos that we put out on the channel. So thanks once again for that and do continue to try and help me grow uh, this channel. Um, I just wanted to quickly mention uh, a couple of things um, before we go into uh, the rest of the video. Um, I'm going to show you some things that I got from Cambridge, the uh, the University Press bookshop there because I went to Cambridge at the weekend, just gone on Saturday a few days ago and uh, was able to pick up a few little bits and bobs that I thought I'd share with you uh, on this channel. And Cambridge have also sent me a couple of bits as well that again I'll uh, I'll show you very quickly uh, when we go to the desk. Um, so uh, that was my visit to, to Cambridge, I'll talk more about that in a, in a little while. Um, I did want to follow up on the Thompson Chain reference ongoing saga that we've been having with this. Um, I did actually get an email from Thompson, from uh, Kirkbride. I had emailed them a couple of times about paper specs um, just so that I could try and uh, eliminate the disappointments that I was having and I was asking them what the difference was between the versions that they do and which was likely to have the best paper. Um, I didn't get any reply to that email and so I emailed them again um, about a month or so later and I didn't get any reply to that email either, um, which is pretty surprising in this day and age where customer focus and customer sort of services is, is so paramount these days. Um, so I did send quite a shorter email basically just saying hello is anybody there um, and a few days after that I did actually get well about eight days after that um, I did get an email um, from the president of Kirkbride who basically uh, told me that they used a 20 and 19 paper I'm assuming that means 20 pound or 19 pound which is the American uh, measure for paper our current regular sized Thompson, so the standard size, is on a £20 sheet with a brightness of 81 and 80 opacity. So that doesn't really mean too much to me. Um, our mill source, he goes on to say, is within the US and we work to have the same consistency across all our translations and binding styles. I hope this answers your question in regards to our paper. Well, it, it doesn't really, and I've got more questions than ever before. The, 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 the difference, the inconsistency that I've seen between, uh, even just in the King James Version, the three sizes that they do in the King James Version, is just, is just baffling to me. And it seems like you can buy a Thompson Chain Reference Bible that is just horrible to read and is just terrible. Um, and then you can buy another one and it will actually be pretty good. I'm still really happy with my handy size one, so I'll be continuing to, to try and buy them and pass them on to people. But the standard size I had zero luck with and I'm going to be getting a large print from Church Bible Publishers soon. So I just thought I would relay that back to you. Um, I don't want to harp on about it too much, but certainly from from my perspective as a retailer and also as an individual consumer and a fan of the Thompson Chain Reference Bible I I have to say I find uh, the position at Kirkbride uh, really unbelievable really in the in this modern day and age it seems to me like they have they have an excellent product um, which is very well regarded and they're kind of riding riding on that riding on the coattails of that they're selling lots of these Bibles and so they're not really under any threat or feel any pressure to get back to people, to help people with their product, to make it better in any way, shape or form seemingly. And I find that disappointing. So that's that's about as much as I want to say on that. Um, but I just wanted to pass that on to you and say that I did get a reply um, eventually from uh, Kirkbride. I know other people... Uh, out there are having similar problems. Eric eleven uh, eleven, who's a, a regular uh, watcher of the channel, um, and and I'm a watcher of his. Uh, I know he's having similar problems. So I just thought I would pass that on to you guys and let you know about that. Um, everything else is going really really well. Um, we're shifting plenty of uh, Bible cases. Just so you guys are aware, we do the handmade bespoke size, made to measure Bible cases. So whatever size your Bible is. 
we can make a case, a leather case for it um, here in the UK. So uh, please do, if, if that's of interest to you, check out my uh, personal eBay uh, page and also check out the website burtonbibles.com. Uh, we've got the three sizes there, which I've had to standardise because there were just there was just too many intricacies. So I've just gone for three sizes: a hand size, a regular size, and a large, extra large size for wide mar wide margins and really large Bibles and stuff. So uh, that that's going really well, and uh, the Bibles in general are continuing to uh, to go well as well. Uh, might do a little video on the sort of top top five sellers or something like that soon, just so you guys know. Uh, what seems to people seem to be buying these days. Um, so let's go over to the desk now. We'll just share a few things with you that I uh, picked up from Cambridge at the weekend and uh, hopefully you'll find that interesting as well. So then guys, um, I picked up a few bits from Cambridge which I'm hoping that some of you might find uh, interesting anyway. Um, just a quick note, I have changed the camera angle so that uh, the camera no longer casts this uh, horizontal shadow across the uh, across the desk. So hopefully that will be uh, a bit of an improvement um, for you guys. Um, so yeah, I was sent some stuff from Cambridge which I thought was really cool. Um, always glad and always pleased to get some support from um, from a publisher and particularly Cambridge because uh, we do we do sell an awful lot of Cambridge Bibles and they sent me some pens which are actually really nice uh, writers these are sort of retractable ballpoints and they write really smooth uh, so I was quite pleased about that um, got a half a dozen of those and uh, got a half a dozen of these really cool little um, books um, with Cambridge Bibles on the front and inside there is some post-it style um, post-it markers for marking pages or verses when you're when you're preaching or when you're studying and one of these little books as well which again is a uh, rip sort of tear off uh, post-it notes again I find I personally find these sorts of things really really useful especially when preaching and you want to just mark some notes on the page of your bible without marking the bible itself if you just want to put a tab there to keep your train of thought and some key points there they're just absolutely fantastic for that so i was really pleased to get hold of a few of these i'll probably be slipping these into um, some orders uh, i generally like to give some stuff away free with my orders uh, whether it's a micron pen or whether it's something like this um, obviously just trying to help people and encourage them um, in their bible study um, so i went to cambridge on saturday i was um, speaking at a church not too far away from cambridge so i thought i'd drop in and uh, take a quick look at uh, some of the stuff that they were doing Excuse me. Um, so this is the Cambridge University Press bookshop, which is on Trinity Street in Cambridge. And it is a beautiful, um, beautiful building. I mean, there's a picture of it uh, there. It just looks uh, really, really nice. And that bookshop has been there for quite some time now. So there's, there's a little pamphlet that you can pick up when you go into the bookshop, um, which is really, really quite uh, interesting. Obviously, a lot of history um, in printing and publishing and indeed in Bibles in Cambridge. Um, so I, I really like to see this. Uh, there's the Cambridge Folio edition of the King James Bible produced in 1629. So that's really awesome to see uh, to see that. And uh, the Cambridge Press, they received their Royal Charter uh, in 1534. So they've been doing this for, you know, pretty much... Uh, uh, pretty much 500 years which is really cool again so if you are in Cambridge I do recommend that you pop in and, and have a little look so I got a few things while I was there picked up a couple of uh, nice leather bookmarks these things really smell <laughs> smell really strongly of leather so I was I was pleased to get some of these um, and again might give them away um, with some orders something like that um, saw a couple of nice sort of notebooks there which I'm a sucker for a notebook as you guys know and I thought this one would be a really nice sign for tucking into um, tucking into a Bible case and again putting some uh, putting some notes in there etc so um, as you can see just nice thick paper so you could use fountain pen in here and stuff like that um, and again just a great size nice hard sturdy cover um, with a ribbon closure and that's just gonna that's just gonna be nice to pop into a, a Bible case and make some notes again I might I might give that away or I might keep it I'm not sure um, but like the look of that and um, also got hold of one of these which looked again looked quite nice um, <clears throat> had a quick flick through one that was open and again nice and nice and sturdy but this one differs a bit it's got some lined 
line markings and it's got sort of a space for you to put maybe the place where you've taken the notes, the date and stuff like that. Um, and I would find something like this really useful for either meeting meeting preparation or notes in a in a church meeting. So again, really like the format uh, of that. So we'll be doing something something with that somewhere along the line. I often pick up these things when I'm out and about. Um, there's a shop in the UK called TK Maxx, which uh, tends to have some really good, really good value notebooks and such like. And I generally find myself picking up a few from there. They sometimes have some discounted um, moleskins in there and I pick up a few and again, just you know keep them on the shelf and either give them away or use them as and when. Now, this is the last item I wanted to look at. This is, um, some of you will know about this already. This is the Cambridge Bible that you can only get from the Cambridge University Press bookshop in Cambridge. So they only sell it uh, locally on site there. Um, and there's a little write up there. This is a pocket sized Bible in the ki traditional King James Version um, from the world's oldest publishing house and available exclusively from the Cambridge University Press bookshop. Um, so it's typeset in a clear and readable modern font. It's actually the Ruby, the Ruby text font, I believe. Um, and you can only get this from the University Press bookshop. It's 10 quid. Um, so I thought, well, that's nice to pick up. And I had about that. Uh, just had to go and uh, get the supermarket delivery in. So, <laughs> so here we are. Uh, we're just going to have a little look at this, uh, this Bible. I'll try not to uh, damage it as I open it. But uh, from what I've seen, it's just a cool little Bible. It's not like the best quality or anything. But, you know, while you're in Cambridge, you may as well pick one up while you are there. So let's have a look. Just a simple uh, cardboard slip cover, again, with the details of this particular edition uh, on there. And here's the Bible itself. It's uh, just a kind of vinyl bound hardback. Um, it says on the spine there, King James Version and the Cambridge Crest. And... It is nicely gold gold gilt on the edges with red and yellow head and tail bands. And uh, it doesn't look like the edges of the paper are rounded too much, so that's just something um, to be uh, aware of. And again, it's just a very, very simple, basic um, paper or card uh, liner. And a simple um, presentation paper, which actually has the details of the Cambridge University Press bookshop there, which is quite cool. And it is the Royal Ruby text. And the paper's not going to be uh, anything to write home about, but it does have the epistle uh, dedicatory there and a simple um, book list there. And there's a reading plan in the back as well as, and this is familiar to people who've got the Trinitarian uh, Bible, I suppose, a simple word list and, uh, and, and some pictures there. Um, so that is that is that. Just see where this Bible is printed. It's published by Cambridge University Press. Um, it's published 2006. Typography is a Youngblood planting design and DTP is 2K. It's 2K in Denmark and it's printed and bound in Italy by the Lego uh, printers there in Italy who do uh, one of the other Cambridge Bibles. I can't quite recall which one is printed in Lego. It's not the personal personal size Concord. It might be the large print or the emerald, something like that. Um, but Lego are really good. They do some uh, crossways as well. So um, that that's pretty good heritage there. And this is the Royal Ruby Text Bible. Uh, uh, this is a Bible which I really, really like. You can get it for, a, we do the Trinitarian one as well, but it's a really good um, typeface. It's not too small. You can read it. Um, it's certainly the, the personal reference is a little bit more cluttered than this with the references, but this Ruby text is actually quite readable. And if you were looking for a small Bible, you know, a complete Bible to take with you pocket size, then certainly check out the Royal Ruby um, text. So if you are ever in Cambridge and you check out the Cambridge University Press bookshop, obviously there's a lot of expensive Bibles in there, but you can pick up this as a little gift or keepsake from Cambridge to remember your visit. Um, for 10 quid, which is pretty cool. So that's about all I've got to show you and all I've got to say in this vlog video. Um, I hope you're well. Um, please do keep leaving your comments um, in the uh, comment section below. I do like to read them and answer them and I'd get a lot of encouragement out of that. So please do say hi if you are watching these videos and we'll catch up on another video soon. God bless. Bye-bye.